Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Larry Ray, President and CEO of American Manganese. Happy New Year, Larry. Well, Happy New Year, Jim, and uh, I'm always pleased to be on the show. The stock market's been pretty good to American Manganese. How has it been in the past week? Well, the last week has been... Uh, hasn't been very good for American manganese. All the other stocks, uh, not all of them, but uh, a lot of them were moving up, heading north. And, uh, you know, all the indicators were there that it was going to be a great market for the year. And yet we were going down on pre- on unprecedented volumes. And uh, I just have to say again, uh, you have to go back to my previous articles that are posted on the website when it comes to predator trading. And uh, it was pretty obvious that uh, predator trading has been going on for some time in the company. Uh, for example, we had uh, great volumes all through December, and we you know, pretty much hung in the average 30 cent range. Um, so that told me as, as well as a report that said we were two million short that we had uh, shorters in the market and uh, so now they were going to capitalize on those shorts uh, by bringing the stock down in the in this last week and which they did they took it down almost 20 percent and uh, uh, interestingly Jim if you look at the trading in the stock you'll see there's a big offer there by national securities uh, at 25 and the you know, the whole object of that is to put a lid on the on the upside while creating a panic selling on the downside so that the uh, shorts could cover and i don't think that was completely successful and uh the uh last of that order was yarded out today and we closed up, uh, you know, got back half of our losses. So, uh, again, you know, this is uh, predator trading. It's going to happen. Uh, all the news for the solid year was good. We're getting international recognition. Off that recognition, we're getting all kinds of uh, solicitations for uh, potential synergies. And uh, so that's all good. And... Uh, all I can say is that uh, let's hope that next week starts out good and we get away from this uh, short trading and maybe we can uh, make up some uh, losses and uh, start making some gains. And uh, I'm looking forward to a real busy year. It's uh, you know, we got a, quite a few things in the, in the works right now that uh, will be coming about uh, in, pre, in next you know, sh- shortly in releases. And uh, so, again, uh, I think the uh, shareholders should rest comfortably that there's no bad news out there. And from what I'm reading from recycling companies that are contacting me, that we do have a uh, the leading-edge technology for getting back the uh, cathode materials. So, you know, that's nice to have that confirmation from companies that have been doing business and recycling for 20, 30 years. And speaking of that, one of the uh, recycling magazines uh, put out an article today that, uh, that basically covered the uh, critical metal aspect that we reported on a, a week ago, and uh, that was the uh, Waste Management World, and Waste Management World put that article out. We sent it out to our uh, our readership, or not, our share shareholders and uh again you know it's uh it's coverage from a big uh, a big circulation and uh we've already uh, got a couple of queries off of that and i'm sure that some of the buying that uh, comes into the market is a result of this uh recognition again that just reinforces that the company is recognized as a player out there and a uh, potentially a major player so uh, that's always good to have. Uh, certainly, we've had a lot of press, and uh, all of it's been quite favorable. So uh, I think that uh, we can look forward to uh, another active year, and maybe we can uh, 
start to see the uh, prices going north, as which I know a lot of shareholders would like to see. And that's uh, not much more that I can say about that, except that, uh, you know, I, it, it's tough to live through a, uh, a route like we went through the first three days of this week. You know, it affects everybody. It even affects the management. It affects me. It affects everybody. I mean, you get frustrated. And, uh, but, you know, you just got to keep your shoulder to the wheel and you'll eventually overcome all that. Larry, for new listeners, can you maybe explain the primary mission of American Manganese? Our primary mission, uh, Jim, is to uh, bring a recycling process to fruition. Now, we've already proven that we can get 100% of the lithium-ion battery material back, uh, cathode material. And that's a big plus. That's disruptive, and uh, nobody else is making that claim. Now, so our focus is on the recycling, and that recycling came out of the, our focus on manganese a few years ago, in which we developed a process that allowed us to produce manganese from very low-grade deposits in the U.S. at comparative cost to China. And, uh, you know, it didn't, uh, it didn't uh, succeed because the price of the actual metals and the dioxides went down. And they were going down all the time we were doing a pre-feasibility study on it. But now we're capitalizing on that. This, this work that we would previously done opened the door for the recycling. So we're basically working off of 80 years of history because the U.S. worked on that process for since uh, the Second World, First World War. And they were never successful in accomplishing what we finally did in 2011. Now... Focus being on the uh, manganese, I'd just like to point out one thing. We have talked about what the value of the batteries were for 85 kilowatt batteries. Now, <clears throat> I just want to caution that all batteries are not 85 kilowatt. They could be 65 kilowatt, which would make a smaller battery in uh, size and weight. And uh, the chemistries may or may not change. But uh, so, you know... Our template uh, is at 85 kilowatt, and uh, we think that, uh, you know, there's a huge future. I think I mentioned that on 85 kilowatt battery in a previous podcast, uh, 100,000 batteries for a nickel manganese cobalt battery under the, under the existing chemistries of that battery was $170 million worth of cathode material. That's in 100,000 batteries. So you just, take that and you say, well, what does that mean? Well, what it means is when we're talking about 3 million vehicles out there, and let's say that uh, a quarter of them are nickel, manganese, cobalt, that there's already in existence a half a billion dollars worth of material that could be processed in the next few years. It's not going to all be done at once and uh, the batteries won't be available all at once. I don't believe there's any going to be any second use a year from now because you don't want to tie up cobalt-bearing batteries on a wall unit. And uh, it just doesn't make sense when you can use lesser materials. The most demanding battery that you have is the uh, electric vehicle battery. And uh, so you want to have the best materials you can get and a guaranteed supply of that. And we can alleviate the uh, cobalt problem and the lithium problem through the uh, recycling of these batteries. So that's the thought that I'd like to leave with everybody. And uh, I guess I'm finished with that that portion of it, Jim. I can move on to uh, our where we're traded. We're traded on the uh, Toronto Venture Exchange. Under the symbol AMY, we're traded on the U.S. exchange under the symbol AMYZF, and we're traded in the Frankfurt exchange under the symbol 2AM. We have a website, AmericanManganeseInc.com. We can be contacted at 778-574-4444, or you can send me an email direct at L 
R-E-A-U-G-H at A-M-Y-M-N dot com. Larry, thanks a lot for the update. You're welcome, Jim. We've been speaking with Larry Ray, President and CEO of American Manganese. I'm Jim Goddard. We were talking on January 5th. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.